What is going on guys, Dizzy Aaron here, and today I am inside of another Mistcraft world. And you might be wondering to yourself, Dizzy, why the fuck are you sitting inside of an ocean biome Mistcraft world? And a scary one at that. Well, uh, let me tell you guys something. If you want to build a badass mob farm, you gotta have some cool blocks to build with. And the coolest blocks I know... Let me show you guys. Um, what are they called? Abysmal. There you go. Right here. All these cool guys. So there's these really nifty railcraft ones. And they are only found in the ocean. In ocean biomes. So we are going to go take a look. See if we can find ourselves some. And I'm just going to hop on in. So let's go in there and... Um, the trick to finding these guys is you have to go into an ocean biome and you got to make sure you don't die like me right now. So um, I'm actually going to switch into my power suit because I'm going to need a lot of air here in a second. So good thing we brought that with us. Um, but yeah, so that's the plan for today. I'm going to go ahead and try to, let me see, how do, how do we do this? Z? No, we just let ourselves fall. Is a little weird because I have the upgrade for well I hope I have the upgrade if not we're about to die here let's see oh no we're good we're good just gonna use up some of our energy so if you notice the bubbles they're getting uh, refilled or resupplied I don't know what you want to call it but here's a trick look on the mini map and I'm just gonna dig down straight um, you can't really do this without having a power suit I'll just tell you that right now so don't go trying this unless you want to do a torch trick where you basically just place a torch down and that's how you survive or get more air if you want to do that or the fence trick whatever trick you want to do to get air scuba suit with some air that's what you want to do because you're gonna to have to dig yourself into either a ravine so if you notice on the mini map there's ravines but there's also those little holes do you see do you guys I don't know if you can see there's like these circular little things going on all right so now we're out of the water um, so let me I don't think I have it on. But. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. So if you look on the mini map, there's these black spots on there. Oh, how do I turn my jetpack off? Wait. No, that's night vision. That's night vision. Jetpack off. There we go. Okay. So we don't want jetpack. It's going to waste our energy. Okay. So this is what you do you look for those black circles in the mini map, and then you just head straight towards them. And if you got yourself a hammer or some of the StarCraft stuff, you're going to eventually hit them. So see this right here? That's what you want to see. I think it's that stuff. Okay, cool. It is this stuff. So I'm just digging around it so you guys can see what they look like. Oh, force. That's definitely good. Okay, so basically what you're going to find is this thing right here. And it looks like a big chunk of block. But what it is, it's abysmal stone. So this is the stuff you want to get right here. And abysmal stone, um, once you put in a furnace and you heat it up, um, it's going to give you those cool, really cool blocks. But that's not the only cool thing about these um, little sphere things. If you notice, they're in the shape of a sphere, right? So if you hop on into them, every once in a while, not always, but every once in a while, you'll hit some of these that have um, different darkened ores. So if you go on this and you type in darkened or dark whatever these things are oh, okay so it's dark space diamond it's only these three right here so dark diamond ore, dark emerald and dark lapis and that's what you find inside of these little spheres so I don't think a lot of people know about this because I myself didn't know about this until I started uh, playing around and I found these little circle things underneath the ravine that I was digging through and I was like hey what the fuck is this stuff oh this looks pretty sick oh yeah and yeah the blocks themselves look awesome so even if you just want to silk touch the diamond doors just to keep those around that's pretty awesome so um yeah i'm gonna go ahead and dig out all of, as i brought basically three diamond chests and i plan on filling them all up so um that's my goal i don't think you guys want to stick around to watch me fill all this stuff up so i'm gonna do this off camera i'm gonna dig up a bunch of these guys and then i'll come back and um if i find one of these little spheres that has the diamond ore or the emerald ore in it i want to show you guys what they look like because they look badass so 
Um, let me get back to work and I'll be back in a little bit. All right, guys, I'll talk to you in a bit. All right, guys, so I found some of the darkened lapis. There you go, that's what it looks like. You don't get a lot of it, but I mean, it's still cool. Um, unfortunately, I don't have a silk touch on me, so I can't really steal these and go home, but the cool part is I have a whole fucking world full of these guys. So I'll be back eventually, not right now. Uh, right now I'm on a mission to collect this stuff. But um, yeah, so again, I'm gonna go back to getting some more of this stuff um, and then fill you guys in. And one thing, if you notice on the mini map, there's, it doesn't show another one underneath me. It just shows the ones that are directly on the same level as this one. And those circles aren't necessarily exactly where they're at. It just means that that's where the hole is. So this little hole that's in the middle, that's where it's at. So it might be huge and it might actually be taking up a lot of room. Or like in this case, see how I already hit another one? Um, it might be actually underneath in the other floor. So if you're looking for them, it doesn't necessarily, you don't have to necessarily look for those big circles. You can just start randomly digging anywhere. But for the most part, that's what you want to aim for. Oh, there you go. Look at that. We just found some emeralds in there. Oh, fuck. We also found somebody that doesn't like us. Hello there, Mr. Skeleton. Oh, oh, oh. We're trapped in here with you. Okay. So in this one, oh, actually we got all three. So we got some uh, lapis up there. And then we got all three of them. So we got the emeralds, diamonds, and those guys. So that's a lucky little find right there. Um, do I have anything? No, that's pretty much it. So yeah, so this is how you find these uh, little guys right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and just keep on cracking and get myself some more of these. And then once I get a lot of them, I'm gonna head on back and I'll meet you guys back at the base, all right? Cause I, I really don't think you guys wanna see me grind away and just cut through all this stuff. It's gonna be a lot of work here, guys. So I will be back with you guys shortly. Don't worry, the episode's not done. But yeah, so that's what I'll be doing for a little bit. All right, guys, I'll be right back. All right, guys, well, I'm off to find the next set of stuff I'm gonna use, but I wanted to show you this guy. A fishing zombie pigman. I don't know what he does. And I haven't pissed him off yet. But because I'm curious, I'm gonna go ahead and piss him off for you guys, all right? So let me get this guy away from him because this guy has an enchanted sword. All right, fuck your couch. See what he does. Oh shit, he actually tosses it at me. What's up? What's up? What are you gonna do? Oh crap, here he comes, here he comes. Get away, fishing guy. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and go back to what I was doing. Because I don't think he does anything. Oh, he just hits you with it. Whatever, keep your ass out of here. All right, so the next set of items I'm gonna get, I left the abysmal stone cooking, um, but I'm in search of nether bri Holy fuck me. Oh man, I shouldn't have pissed him off. Okay, so um, we're back in the nether hub, by the way. I have no clue what that was, but that kicked the shit out of me. Fuck your couch. Where are you? All right, this is a bad idea, picking fights with all of them. So we're in their house, you know, we're kind of starting shit. But anyways, so next thing I'm on to is Infernal. So let me show you guys what that looks like. Infernal Bricks, which is like a darker um, color, like a dark gray or something like that. But I need Nether Brick and I need Soul Sand. So that's what we're on the mission for. And this is my um, quartz strip mine I got going on. But I'm going to look for... Um, oh, 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 lag spike. I need to find another fortress, and I don't know where one is, so we're kind of out of luck here. But that's what I'm gonna go on a mission for. Um, if you guys want to tag along, you can do so, but this might take a while, especially since we got pigmen that can fucking shoot arrows at us and wear enchanted armor. And if you don't know how amazing it is to be able to pull fly around. Hold on, do I have a silk touch? Yeah, I do. Okay, I want this stuff too. Oh yeah, oh, that's amazing. Oh yeah, give me that, give me that. Um, this looks really cool as a roof material. So if you've never, if you don't know what this is, these are ash blocks. So you see that, ash blocks. Um, if you actually hit these without a silk touch, um, what happens is you get back little pieces of ash and if you combine those in a crafting recipe or a crafting grid, you get coal. So that's another way to get coal. 
Um, but we're on a mission for Soul Sand, like this stuff right here. I don't know if they're still pissed off at me. But we need all kinds of Soul Sand, so let's grab some of this. And then we're also going to need another fortress. So if you guys see one in the mini map, make sure you let me know because definitely going to need that. Um, but I'm also going to need to go get some more spawners. And I think the only real place that I know of that has tons of spawners is uh, Twilight Forest. Um, I don't know anything in Overworld that has tons of spawners. So what I'm thinking is if not in this episode, probably like the next episode or something, I want to go back to Twilight Forest and find a creeper spawner and a few other ones. So that that's on our things to do here. But we're going to just mine up a little bit more of this stuff and then we're, we'll head on out to look for, um, oh, what's it called? Uh, Nether Fortress. I mean, I could also do the, um, what's that called? Um, a Mistcraft World? Yeah, Mistcraft World that contains nether fortresses. I don't know if you guys have played with the new Mistcraft stuff, but now you can actually spawn nether fortresses inside of your Mistcraft World. And I do believe, no, this is too much to be cobalt. I think this is just gonna be regular. Oh, they're pissed off, I pissed them off. With um, nether ores, the pigmen get pissed if you steal their shit. So that's why they're turning aggro on me just for mining that stuff. Apparently that's their lapis, see? But it looks a hell of a lot like cobalt, so fuck your couch. I'm stealing. Oh, what, look at this guy. He looks so friendly. Oh, what are you? Just a nitro creeper, you? Oh, you little nitro creeper. Holy fuck. That wasn't very nice, Mr. Nitro Creeper. But he just looks so friendly. I, I couldn't say no to him. Alright, what's this? Pig iron? I think. What's this? Pig iron? No, silver ore. Oh, I just pissed him off again. But there's stuff it's called pig iron and it actually gives you um steel so that's definitely a plus oh shit it's gonna blow up it's gonna blow up it's gonna blow up oh okay Whew. um some of this stuff if you hear i don't know if you guys heard that but that little sizzle that noise um that means it's about to explode so usually if you don't have a really oh fuck you leave me alone nobody likes you oh hi there oh hey, this guy likes you come here yeah, come here. Come here, little creeper guy. They want to say hi to you. Right here. Say hi to them. There you go, you fuckheads. Oh, you're still alive. Come here. Take you the fuck with me. Anyways, um... Yeah, so I'm gonna go back on my mission to go find those. Oh, you can plant these in Overworld, just so you know. They're upside down trees. Fire trees? He doesn't see me. I'm stealing your shit, nigga. Yeah, all this glowstone, it's mine. In case you were wondering, I'm taking it home with me. And the reason it's not falling is that fortune thing, that coin of fortune that I told you guys about. It's fucking amazing. So for all those that don't play with this thing, you guys are missing out big time. Because all you got to do is just sit there and anything you mine up, boom, right into your inventory. I don't know what we're doing without using... Oh, you can't use area mode? Oh, you get this fucking lane. But yeah, it goes straight into your inventory. So like this is perfect for uh, mining this kind of stuff because it goes right in there. And you don't have to worry about, oh man, we dropped it. Now I got to go down there and look for it. Nope. Right in there for you. So make sure you build one of those. The next thing too that I want to build is um, a Tome of Alkahest. If you don't know what that is, then you probably don't cheat <laughs> because that's basically what it is. Um, it's... It basically adds the ability to be able to, um, it's kind of like equivalent exchange, but um, it's a little OP. I say little OP because I like stuff like that. Um, most people don't. They just complain and cry about, oh no, that's cheating, you can't do that. Because basically you add redstone in, um, I mean the recipe itself is super expensive, but uh, once you get it, it's pretty sick because you can use it to make extra of anything. So if you want some extra lapis, add a little, oh, look at this thing. Um, you just add a little bit of redstone and you got yourself some more lapis. Um, add a little bit of, oh, what are you, buddy? Look at you. Hold on, I'm gonna fuck this guy up. Cause these guys are rare, I think. Right? What is your rare? That was way too easy. 
Are you serious? Did I get ahead? Oh, of course I'm not gonna get ahead. Then that would be just extremely easy. Get the fuck out of my way. Oh, I can hit you with this, you fuckhead. Come here. Alright, anyways. Um, but yeah, so... Oh, no, no, no. Give me that. So the recipe for the... Um, the Tome of Alkahest is pretty expensive. But at the same time, you get so much shit from it that it's well worth it. Like, let me show you guys how, how expensive it is. Tome... Tome, tome, tome. Upgrade Tome, no. Tome of Knowledge Sharing, huh? No, it's not. this one right here. Tome of Alkahest. So, one Wither Skull, so we need that guy. We need a Gas Tier, which I think we have. Uh, Magma Cream, and the rest of the stuff is pretty simple. So, basically, the hardest thing on here is probably the Gas Tier and this um, Wither Skeleton. But once you get that, oh man, is it cool? You get all kinds of shit. So let me just show you guys real quick. A little break here. Come on if this thing ever loads up. I have no clue why it does that every time you do the usage thing. I guess it has to look for every single recipe in the game and then show it to you. But it always seems to lag forever. So look it. With diamond blocks, you get a dragon egg. How cool is that? Um, if you want extra nether stars and you don't want to do that um, portal gun glitch or gravity gun glitch I showed you, there you go. It just costs you one diamond, basically. Because you need one nether start to do it, and then you just get the wither skeletons, some glowing water, and then boom, you get another one. And there's tons of shit in here. Like, um, and that thing's useless. I don't like that thing. But anyways, um, so like, one dirt, you add a piece of redstone, you get back 17 dirt. One cobble, add a red, um, redstone, you get 17 back. Same thing with sand, same thing with everything. So, like right here, gunpowder, four redstone gives you two. Um, lapis four gives you two glowstone there you go so it's it's not the best way to get it but it's definitely usable like you can use this for all kinds of stuff so I'm definitely gonna need one of these so we need to kill us some withers and um, yeah in the process I mean I'm not really holy fuck these guys are dangerous right there you don't want to fuck with those things I'm just gonna go ahead and leave um, they're just really strong powerful um, Chingaderas, what are they called? Mobs. They're like one of the toughest ones I've seen in the nether. I mean, you saw how pussy those little wither skeletons were. And I thought they were going to be somewhat of a challenge because I hate running into withers. Um, but then again, I've been playing vanilla, so <laughs> that's probably why. And I forgot how uh, OP beat the beasts as compared to vanilla. But then again, that's why I love it. Because you can do all kinds of crazy shit you can't do in vanilla. I mean, I've been... In my vanilla world, I've been trying to build some stuff, and shit takes forever. Oh, we need this. It's cobalt. It's for Tinker's Construct. No. Oh. Get, 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 get. There you go. Alright. So, cobalt ore. Yeah. Because, unfortunately, I lost a lot of my cobalt shit that I had. So, or, not my cobalt. I had a uh, Malumite. Yeah, I think it was, it's called Mali, but I don't fucking know. Don't ask me. I'm the worst with, like, remembering shit. But, yeah, I had tons of that stuff. Oh, I'm, not, I'm doing it on purpose to piss him off. You hear y'all? Look at them all get mad. Look at these little fucks. Come here. I want to show them what you guys do. What do you guys do? Not a damn thing. Oh, what the hell's hitting me? Really? You guys want to fuck me? Come on. That's it. Have you noticed like 80% of these guys? Oh shit, I'm beating them with a stick. How smart is that? Come here, guy. Let me beat you with a stick. Oh shit, his health is regening. I just noticed that. Some fucking OP guys right there. But, anyways, these guys don't do shit. They just sit there and make noise. And if you hit them, they're like, oh, okay, I'm getting fucked up. I gotta go. I gotta go, gentlemen. So we're off. To go find us another fortress. Alright, I'm over this. Give me another fortress so I can get my nether brick and get out. Alright guys, um, I don't think you want to look at all this derpy loading and shit. So, uh, let me find one and then I'll bring you guys back. Alright, catch you in a bit. Alright, so we found one. And now that I'm thinking about it. Um, oh, fuck. Of course, of course. Hold on. 
Let me handle this guy. Those fire bats are actually pretty deadly. If you guys didn't know, they are pretty deadly. What are you guys doing? This guy has a fucking pickaxe. What are you going to do with a pickaxe, buddy? Oh, damn. This guy's fucking me up. What's up, son? Alright, so enough of that shit. Um, what was it saying? Pretty dead. Oh, uh, yeah, what I was thinking was I could steal some of these spawners because I know I'm going to run into some of these uh, blaze spawners. So that might actually be a good idea. And right now I'm just going to dig all the way down on this. Because if you didn't know, the pillars are the ones that have all of the nether in it. And that's the easiest way to get yourself some nether brick. You can also do this just rip a whole road out. Which is exactly what I'm going to do right now. I'm just going to steal a whole road. Well, I was, but I don't want to go into flight mode. I'm just going to steal this whole chunk right here. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to steal the blaze spawners, and then um, we'll have a couple of blaze spawners in the overworld. And I don't know if they work in overworld, though. I know the um, soul shard ones do, but as far as blaze spawners, I don't quite know. Well, we'll see. I'll steal them and then we'll test them out. So I'm gonna get some of this stuff um, now that I found it, and then we'll head on back once I steal the blaze monitors and get a big chunk of this stuff. All right, guys. So I'll catch you in a few. All right. So we're back, and unfortunately, couldn't find any withers. I found a shit ton of um, what are those things called? Regular skellies. That's for damn sure. And then I did get two spawners. So um. I'm gonna throw all this shit in here, let it sort itself out. And the reason I put it all in here and just let it come back inside here is in case I get multiples of stuff, like little force nuggets or gold nuggets, it just stacks on top of each other. No other real reason I can go through it and pick it up, but um, I did grab some more stuff. Um, yeah, but we'll look at that in a little bit. I'm just gonna sleep and then we're gonna test out whether or not these spawners work. And if they do, it's gonna be pretty amazing. If they don't, well, at least we know. But I know for a fact, if you have the um, soul shards, the, I think it's it has to be a tier three. Tier three soul shard, then it'll work. Um, as far as these go, I don't know. But I mean, I don't see why they wouldn't. So I'm just going to place one down and just see if it'll spawn. So I know I'm within range right now and it's in complete darkness. So I ha should have enough room to spawn one. Um, but I don't know if it will spawn it. I heard it. So yeah, there it goes. Oh shit. These guys are getting crazy. Look at that. Invisible skellies. Four of them. Oh god, this is gonna get crazy real quick. Um maybe these guys are a little too OP. I'm just saying. There there he is. You hear him? I don't know if you guys can hear it in there, but I'll I'll just shut up so you can hear him. Oh, what the fuck? He's invisible and he's poisoning me? Oh, no. Oh, okay. We're getting the fuck out of here. Sorry. That's not going to work out too well. Holy shit. And I have full power suit armor on. Don't know what the fuck that was, but whatever it was, that was pretty, pretty OP if I may say so myself. Um, so let's fuck that guy up. Let's see if we can snipe him from here. Oh yeah, you can snap it from there. One shot kill. What's up? Oh shit, did I pick it up? I did, right? Yeah, we only have two. Okay, so that works. Um, unfortunately, that's not gonna work, the, the little current setup. Um, because they just want to, the, the blaze, they just want to fall down, straight down. Um, and it'll pick them up, but they can fly. So I need a, a different way to kill these guys, but I'm going to do it. So what I'm thinking is the blaze guys, they're going to go right here. Oh, look at, there's the fire guy. The ones I was telling you about that fucked me up. That's him right there. Whoa, same type. Oh, I forgot to put one more right there. Oh, we gotta, we gotta fix that. Um, when I get some, then I'll fix it. But anyways, so yeah, I'll fix that and then what I'm thinking, the blaze is going to go right here. So on top of us, there's going to be a blaze spawner and they're just going to come down and they'll get ground up and then the stuff will get collected and yeah, all kinds of good stuff. But for the time being, um, I'm going to get to work on this thing. So we'll set it all up. If you noticed uh, off camera, I started doing a little work here. 
So this is what the pattern's supposed to look like. Remember how I told you guys that there's like a specific pattern I wanted to go for? This is what it's supposed to look like, where it's just both sides, there's a little intersecting part in the middle, and it just sucks you straight in there no matter where you fall. So I fall here, it just pushes me here, and then it'll start pushing me down straight towards it. And I'll get cluster fucked in here, and then they'll push me right away. And then once I hit the middle part, bam. It's gonna send me to spikes, and I don't wanna go over there because if I hit the spikes, I'm kinda screwed. They're really strong, so. Um, yeah, they pierce right through armor, so we definitely don't wanna fall in there. So yeah, so I'll get to work on this stuff, and then um, I'll just give you guys a little periodic update so you guys can see how the farm's going. And then, uh, yeah. So we'll be right back. All right, guys, catch you in a bit. All right, guys, so actually, now that I look at the time, it looks like we are gonna have to call it a wrap here. So um, when you guys come back, uh, that mob farm is gonna be not completed, but it will have some progress, I'll tell you that much. Um, Want to make sure that I got a little bit of progress in so we can wrap up that mob farm and get started on Figuring out ways to sort out all the items that we get. Uh, we might do applied energistics, we might do something else, but yeah, that's gonna wrap it up for me, guys. So if you did enjoy this episode and you learned anything, like where to find Abysmal Stone, maybe, huh? huh? Or anything else, guys, uh, make sure you leave it a like so that way I know that you guys are enjoying this. It gives me motivation to keep making these videos and I'll keep putting them out. All right, guys, so that's going to wrap it up for me. I'm Dizzy Aaron and I am out.